Got some corn on the cob soaking. Gonna put it on the fire here in a little bit. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna cook. So if you haven't figured out what I'm cooking yet with the corn on the cob, it's in this recipe book. <laughs> I am cooking the Mexican street corn salad. And this was submitted by Deb, also known as Nooks and Crannies. And I'm going to cook some chicken enchiladas to go with it in the Dutch oven. So I'm going to clean up my corn husk mess and then I'll get started on the enchiladas. And it's about that time of day when all the generators are starting here, so probably not gonna let y'all listen to that. Maybe some music would be better. What do y'all think? Have you tried both of them? I have, and I'm gonna have another bite of the corn salad. Who put that in the cookbook? Nooks and Cranny. Nooks and Cranny, woohoo, thank and crannies. you. And um, are you still gonna try to cook everything that's in the cookbook? Yep. Nice. We'll see. Thank you for making your, um, I said mm. crock pot, but it's cast iron. Cast iron. Yeah, cast iron enchiladas too. Mm, mm, mm. So was that green sauce good? That was that 505 that you picked out. I like it. Okay. Good to know. All right, there's the damage. I think I like this 505 better than that other green sauce I've used. What do you think? It is so, so, so good. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a video of chicken enchiladas, green chicken enchiladas, but on my channel, but I think this one's better with that 505. <laughs> good mm -hmm. it's a different taste that others like a I can't think of the word um, verde mm -hmm. more than this one I don't know this one's really good and the corn salad is excellent 